In this video, we're gonna be taking a quick look at the Baboon Day Duffel. Head over to packhacker.com for more information. Link in the description below. So overall, uh, when this first arrived in the mail, it actually feels like it's made out of a lot higher quality materials than I initially imagined. So it is Cordura fabric, or Cordura grade fabric rather, that has been um, uh, certified by Cordura. And this is ballistic nylon. So there's a ballistic weave going on here. So it definitely feels a lot more robust. And I was looking at the photos on their website, I was kind of like not entirely sure what we were getting into um, when we ordered this thing, but it definitely feels robust. And then on top of that, materials wise, we have nice YKK number eight zippers as well. Uh, kind of some funky, big QB zipper pulls. I feel like like baboon is written everywhere. Um, so you can see that you know, on the sides here, they, they use that baboon branded pattern and um, baboon here as well. So I definitely think they like like fun designs and things like that. There's a ton of colorways available over on their site too. Uh, if you wanna take a look at these straps here, these aren't padded per se, but th it is like this, this same thing kind of folded it over. So it has the illusion of just feeling a bit padded. Uh, definitely, you know, better than just grabbing this alone. Um, but there is no padding there. It's just reinforcement, which creates a bit of squishiness. And then we have a nice little piece here that enables you to fasten these handles together if you'd like. And I like that it wraps around the entirety of the bag. I feel like that's nice and secure. Some of the times when you get a duffel that just has buttons like here and here and you just attach it like that, um, when you pick it up, they can easily fall apart. So definitely appreciate that. Haven't gotten a chance to use it a ton yet. Like I said, this is just a quick hit. And um, if we do decide to do a review, we'll do it over at packhacker.com, the link in the description below. And that'll be after at least two weeks of using this bag in the wild. So if we open this thing up, let's just take a look. Actually, first I wanna chat about this shoulder strap. Um, you know, this is, you know, I believe this is, uh, this is a bit of a smaller duffel, right? I mean, if you have really heavy stuff in here, there's no padding, so just note that. Um, this is one area where it'd be nice to see kind of like an attached shoulder pad that you see on a lot of other duffels. We typically like when the shoulder pad is very long too, or it just slides across so you can position it nicely on your body based on how you wanna wear it. But that's not the case here. Um, this is just that kind of nylon webbing-like material on this strap here for the shoulder strap does remove those so that's nice and then we have the matching funky blue hardware as well not sure what the brand is of this hardware I, mean, I can't really see on here it might be underneath the uh, this little attachment point here um, handles on each side very similar to the top handles here they're kind of folded in and reinforced as well yeah, and then um, if we just open this right up on the inside, we can just see this sort of purple lining going on in the interior. I feel like it's a, it's a bit soft, it does add like a nice touch, but in a duffel like this, I'm not really sure that it's needed. And then you kind of get this excess fabric that you can sort of just pull out of the bag and really separate from the liner. Um, it's not really attached uh, super well, so there's like space between the liner and the fabric which I don't love that, especially for a duffel if you want it to be rugged, I feel like that's kind of a little bit counterintuitive to that. Um, you know, very simple too, there is one exterior pocket here, just a little dump pocket so you could pop in like your wallet, sunglasses, just a pocket dump, and there's a small key clip here, uh, which we like, looks like that one's Wujin. Uh, so that's, generally we've had good luck with that brand. Nothing really special, special about this key clip, we've seen it in a bunch of other bags, um, but it is there if you choose to use it. And then uh, one zippered mesh side. The mesh generally feels pretty good. It's like a little coarse, but also it's robust. Uh, it feels like quality. Again, like I just, I feel like this is higher quality than I was initially expecting from the brand. Um, and then we have YKK number fives right there on this side. That one's fully zipped. And then if we take a look at the other side, there's just kind of a mesh pocket. Um, just a little bit of stretch here. So if you want to throw some a little larger in there. Uh, you could and it would kind of fasten it, but it's mostly just like a mesh kind of divider pocket on the interior here. 
So yeah, there you have it, our review on this Baboon Go Duffel. Make sure to head over to packhacker.com for more information, link in the YouTube description below. And if you'd like to see more in-depth reviews, then make sure to check out our main channel too. We'll see you in the next video.